Hi everyone and welcome back. Recently we had the grandchildren over and uh, we made a fire for a barbecue, a braai, to cook some meat. And uh, obviously boys have to help with the fire. Boys and fire, that's a, a serious combination right there. But they had a little piece of wood each and they were putting it in the fire and trying to keep this thing alight. And I said to them, you guys must be careful that uh, a coal doesn't fall from your stick and then you stand on it with your bare feet. Maybe it's better to wear shoes. No, 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 we're fine. Everything's fine. We're going to be careful. Well, you know exactly what happened. And one of them disappeared and didn't come back. And then I found out afterwards that he had done exactly that. He did not heed the warning. And you know, we've had many warnings in life. And you see many warnings given to the people of God. In Genesis 6, Noah speaks to the people around him and warns them of the upcoming flood. But nobody listened and they were destroyed. In Isaiah 58... The prophet warns the people of Israel about the armies coming from the north, the Babylonians, but they did not listen. In Matthew 24, Jesus warns us today, the droughts, the fires, the famines, all of these things, the earthquakes, they are warnings to prepare us. So it's very easy to ignore the warnings, read the newspaper, say, wow, isn't that terrible? Isn't that tragic? Isn't that sad? But the warning is there, and we need to take heed. It's time to take the Word of God and God's warnings seriously. For our own personal lives, the Holy Spirit warned Paul of imprisonment and gave him time to prepare. He knew it was the will of God, but he was least forewarned and prepared for that. And the Holy Spirit warns us and can warn us of dangers of sin and in different situations. And we need to take heed of the warning and to always be prepared. Sometimes we allow our pride to block or hinder us from bowing the knee to the warnings of God. I read the statement, pride deafens us to the advice or warnings of those around us. Pride goes before destruction. That's what the scripture says. So it's important that we have an ear that is listening to the warnings of God. This can be in our everyday life. We don't know what lies around the corner. We don't know what danger, whether it's a, a tragedy, whether it's an accident, whether it's sin. We don't know. But if we're listening to God and open to God and ready for God, then when the warning comes, we will be obedient and do what God tells us to do. There's no need to get burnt by the fire if we're ready to listen. May the Lord help us.